And Tony, um, what do you think the difference was between the first half and the second half? Obviously, a great performance in the first half. Yeah, I think we could keep our best level, I wouldn't say, but a high level during the first 45 minutes. But especially after their first goal, that was a really good combination from their side. We started doing things that we haven't done before, a little bit going too too fast, uh, not so, so disciplined, I would say, tactically. And uh, obviously we played uh, worse in the second half, yeah. They just want the opening goal, which obviously set the tone. You say they worked it well defensively from your side. Is it disappointing how easy it looked, or did it is that more from what they did? Yeah, I think uh, they were really clinical today. I think the especially first goal is difficult to defend. There's a good combination in the in the other goals. I think we could do bo- more. I think we could defend better, react more quickly to this. Uh, second balls. I think there is a, it's a team that they it's it's really physical. They they keep for 100 minutes this high intensity. They are very they win a lot of duels in the middle, no. And once you become a little bit weaker, don't arrive too early, start uh, leaving then a little bit more of a space. It becomes really difficult because. Uh, they take their chances. They every time they arrived, they their finishings were very very good. We had our chances. We we had I think a lot of set pieces. I think we could even shoot more because we were a lot of times around the box without taking the final shot, trying to find a better position. And against this level of opposition, sometimes you just have to to give it a a, a try and, and and finish the things. Yeah. We had the top four at half time, it was quite a different 45 minutes to the two games we've had against them previously. There weren't that many chances, it was quite even watching it. How did you sort of feel at half time and how to approach the, the second half? I, I was happy, especially first half, with the beginning of the first half and how we ended the first half. I think last 10 minutes of the first half, we had our momentum, we were pushing, we were uh, being what we wanted to be. Uh, but I would say the, the goal. The first goal they scored was was key. You no, know? from there I think they won some confidence. They started to be even more aggressive in the in the in the press, and uh, we were not so so clear you now with with the things we we were doing. Gave okay, James Hill a start and left back as well. Sort of thinking of bringing him in and bringing him in in that position. Yeah, right now we are really thin with the fullbacks, no. And probably the worst thing today is that we are gonna lose Max Arons. That uh, was the only proper fullback we had, hundred uh, percent. Uh, and we will have to think, no, what to to do, especially for the next game against Swansea, because uh, Lloyd Kelly played some minutes today. Probably he needs slowly, slowly more minutes. He's not fully fit. And uh, I don't think we are going to recover Adam Smith of Milos Kerket for for the next game. Can James play that game? I will have to I will have to ask I will have to ask, but I think he can play. I think he can play because he, he didn't play like the past round with Blackburn, so I don't think he's cap tied. And uh, we also recover Marcos from today, but especially in this fullback area, right now we are we're pretty thin. Yeah. The hamstring again from Marcos. I think it's the other leg. It's the other leg. We have to make the assessment. He wanted to continue, but we decided not to risk, not to because we were not close in the game, and we decided to finish the game with with ten players because it didn't make sense, especially uh, considering his position is, is is key right now for us, and it didn't make sense not to force him to to finish. And I hope he has stopped. Before uh, pulling his his hamstring, didn't plan to to bring anyone in there. But if he's out for a while, could you have to look at the transfer market and get full back in? If you've got four or five out at the same time. I think we'll have to do, talk with the medical staff, with the medical staff, and see uh, what are the timings, what we expect, how is each individual position. Because we have the numbers, we have the the players, but right now I think 
almost all the, the, the injuries we have are, are focused in, in these positions and, and, and there is not so many days and we have to take decisions. Yeah. Just lastly, for me, will it be easy to put this game as you did for Man City given the, the quality of the opposition, put it behind you quickly and then box it off and, and go again now? I think it would be easy for the players to move on? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. I think we have uh, another game, different competition. We know against this top, top level opposition, we have to be at our best and then have moments of some inspiration, you know, to finish things, to, to make the final play like they did in the, in, the, in the first goal and we didn't find it today. We didn't, I think, uh, even giving our best. I remember in the cup game, we, we couldn't beat uh, Liverpool and, and, and there is a reason, no? They, they haven't lost uh, this season and only they lost with nine players. I think they are, they are really physical, really good. They are finishing very well. They they scored today four goals in the second half with really quality finishing and they are making the defence. Anthony, was Alex Scott not starting anything to do with his fitness or was that purely tactical? No, it was because I think uh, Alex, uh, Ryan and Justin uh, were really, really good against the Spurs. I think they, they, they played really, really well. I think they are doing very good things. Alex also was really good. Also, he contributed against QPR. And for me, it's difficult decisions. Difficult decisions. No, I think we decided to go quite early in the second half with Alex because I think he can help us in in different positions. And I think he also uh, had good good spells during the the game. But it was a, a decision I I made. Yeah. And after a game like that, is it nice to have Swansea midweek so close to immediately try and bounce back? I would prefer no to have more days to recover, especially considering our, uh, especially our defending positions, the fullback positions. Uh, I don't know how all, the, how they finish today, and uh, we'll have one less day than them uh, for the for the game. But it's what it is, and we have to prepare, uh, and we, because we want to be in the next round, in a competition that we like, but. Uh, we we know it's not going to be easy. Finally, for me, what was the thinking behind David Brooks coming on? What did you make of his cameo? He looked maybe a little bit short of confidence at the moment. I think he had a really good chance. I think he we 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 tried no to try to find one against one positions with him, uh, changing a little bit. Uh, also tough. I think uh, Sini was starting to 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 get tired, and we needed some fresh legs because the. The, the ride and the physicality that Liverpool puts into the game is, is really high and if you don't have these fresh legs, it's difficult to match them, no? like we could see in the second half. If you see the second half number of, of Liverpool during the season are really amazing, mm -hmm. are really, really amazing. They are normally very good, but in the second half they are even better. No? And we knew that uh, we needed fresh legs, we did all the subs with, I think, quality players, but even then it's, it wasn't enough for us. And then, uh, this is your last season in England uh, and you've just had the, the glut of winter matches. So someone that's, do, you, do you think it's too many matches with all the, the injuries? Is this not good for the players? I think uh, almost all the teams, we are in the same situation, no? losing a lot of players with the injuries. It's obvious that uh, December is a really, really busy schedule now also with the African Cup. You, know, you lose two, three players that are key for, for every, every team. Liverpool also were, were really thin today, no? very quality players, you know, but they were missing some, some important players also. And it's something that we have to adapt, that's the reason, like, why top teams now they are starting to get 29, 30 players now in the in the squads because uh, we can see that everyone is is suffering with this injury. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.